Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and on today's Forzathon weekly guide I'm going to help you guys complete the 19 to the dozen Forzathon uh, which revolves around using a super saloon of your choice to which there are a lot of them out there. Uh, so let's get stuck in <clears throat> and I'll show you which one I use. Now, you can filter your cars uh, to show which super saloons you have available. Uh, obviously, there is quite a lot to pick from. Uh, I went for the 2008 BMW M3 because it's a cheap one to get, uh, and I'd assume that everyone pretty much has it. It's widely available. I did create a tune for it called Ultimate M3, which helped me massively, uh, and hopefully it will help you guys out too. You can download it from my storefront. It's Desert01, and it's just called Ultimate M3. Now, the second challenge, or, well, basically the first one you have to do something, uh, wants you to get five triple pass skills. Now I went over to the Moorhead Wind Farm circuit and I created my own race uh, just for one lap in super saloons. Now you can do it as multiple laps and sort of keep going to the back of the pack and overtaking but I recommend doing it this way uh, really and truly it doesn't actually matter how many laps you have because after you get the triple pass skill as I will show you you can just restart the race uh, and it will count and you'll just clock them up five times it's very very easy and especially with this tune it's quite helpful all you have to get for a triple pass skill is three pass skills in quick succession uh, and you've got to do that five times so as you can see there's the first one very quick simple and easy it's about 10 seconds per pass skill uh, and then all i ended up doing uh, was going to the pause menu and restarting the race uh, and just doing that over and over uh, and if you do that five times you will get the five challenges uh, the five pass skills complete like I said, it's very simple on this race as there's a bend at the beginning and you can just undertake everyone and get that triple pass skill. Um, and obviously, the harder your difficulty, the further back you start at the back of the grid. Um, so that, that also helps. I have mine on expert difficulty. Uh, and the easier it is, you'll probably start off at the front, uh, towards the front of the grid. Uh, so it'll be a little trickier. Now, like I said, if you do it in a multiple rap, lap race, you can slow down and go to the back of the pack and overtake uh, three people in quick succession again. But I think that way is a bit quicker. Now, the next challenge wants you to get 12 side swipe skills with your super saloon. Uh, so a side swipe skill is basically uh, a, destruct a destructive skill as well as a drift skill. So you can smash into anything. It's a wreckage skill um, that will give you that skill and just do it drifting and make sure you hit it sideways. And as you can see there, you'll get the side swipe skill. And all you have to do is get 12 of them. So I recommend coming over to this little airfield here. So there is a lot of stuff to smash into and plenty of space to drift without hitting sort of harder objects such as walls and hard trees and stuff. Um, it's actually a very quick one. Again, it'll only take you a few minutes to do. Um, and the tune, does come in handy here uh, but again it doesn't matter what you use as long as it's a super saloon it's actually a pretty easy one to get uh, it won't take you that long pretty simple uh, and now the final tune uh, it literally just wants you to get three stars on the swan dine dive danger sign with your super saloon so as you can see i filtered the map just to show danger signs and it's just off arthur's seat here the swan dive uh, danger sign and it needs you to get 750 feet uh, to get three stars now I recommend starting just off the road uh, but straight in a straight line from the actual danger sign so instead of following the road around the corner because it's quite bumpy you won't get much speed up uh, and you need to hit at least 140 mile an hour on the jump to get over 750 feet uh, and as you can see there I've got 777 feet uh, so it wasn't all that hard like I said if you start off straight across from the danger sign slightly off-road uh, you'll do it no worries as long as you hit over 140 mile an hour uh, anyway guys I hope this video helped you out uh, of course that's why I'm here trying to provide as much help as possible if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask in the comments I'll reply to all of them and help you out as best as I can uh, if you're looking at the paint job I did try and basically replicate uh, the Phoenix yellow from the old E46 M3s that can be downloaded on my storefront as well it's called M3 Phoenix yellow um, but all of that's in the description below but a massive thank you for everyone's support again I hope this helped it uh, helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it if it did subscribing would be massively helpful uh, and if you drop a like that would also be a massive help so thank you very much guys and all the best